So you're walking around the city where they had piles of human bodies. With coronavirus, people around the world have gotten a glimpse of what a scary outbreak can be like. But statistically, the majority of patients who contract the coronavirus survive. Karaj's plague was totally different. The death rate was more than 50%. It's got to have felt like the world is ending. The psychic wound, you know, on a city, on a people, on a nation. It's something that you would never get over. And you would pass that fear along to your children. It's almost like the sheer terror of living through that particular plague left a scar that's been passed down. Many modern Romanians see this outbreak as proof of Vlad's curse. But I wonder, can we find a point where myth and science intersect? Was there something truly anomalous about Karaj's plague? This is the mathematical model. Okay. It's widely used in disease ecology. So we took historical data from the Black Death, the bubonic plague. Sure. Would you okay. like to see? Yeah, please, by all means. And these are um, spatial representations of people dying all across the city. Wow. And then it, it burns itself out, as epidemics do, and it starts to plateau. OK. So um, my husband and I have been working on a mathematical model of um, courageous plague. This was a really terrifying plague. Wow. Much more aggressive epidemic. Once it happens, it just you know wipes through the city super quickly. Wow. But something else is going wrong, too. OK. Some people have looked at these epidemic curves and said, OK, well, there must be what we call pneumonic plagues. And that's when the disease is deep in your lungs, can spread it directly person to person. Wow. Then quarantine is established. So you're walking around the city where they had piles of human bodies. There's stories about them raping, stealing, even killing plague victims. Complete societal breakdown.